Hello everyone, I'm Darren Hartwell here alongside Sam Galanis, and Sam already gave us our Red Sox shopping list, and now we're going to get into some specifics about which individual players to target. So Sam, let's talk about free agents first. What's free, one free agent you think the Red Sox should have their eye on? Well, the Red Sox have a big need in their bullpen right now, so the best reliever on the market is another Darren and Darren O'Day. So he's been pretty much lights out since 2010, which is hard to find in a reliever is consistent numbers. So the Red Sox can feel pretty safe with O'Day, especially because he's been pitching in hitters ballparks between the Baltimore Orioles and the Texas Rangers. Yeah, I like O'Day I'm, and I'm going to stick with that theme too in terms of reliever. I'm going to go with Tony Sipp. I think one of the Red Sox big needs in addition to a reliever is finding a left-handed reliever in the back end of that bullpen. Uh, now they have Ke Craig Kimbrell and Koji there, but I think Sip could be a strong left-handed arm in the back of that bullpen. And as far as trades go, you can't get all of your pieces in free agency. So I think a good target for the Red Sox would be Shelby Miller. The Atlanta Braves have already showed that they're pretty much open to just trading their whole team, and Miller's included in that. I'm going to go out on a limb for my free, uh, trade target, and I'm going to go with Joey Votto and the Cincinnati Reds, another team, the Reds, that are kind of looking to unload everybody. I think, obviously, Votto's pedigree speaks for himself. Uh, he has very high on-base percentage, led the MLB in walks last season. Obviously, Han Hanley Ramirez is the big first base name in the Red Sox. Now, I think Dabrowski could find a way to trade him and then maybe package Jackie Bradley Jr. and some prospects to the Reds, uh, get a guy like Votto in there. I think he'd be a huge addition to this lineup. 